Become part of something larger than yourself. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Okay, so I just spent way too much time editing a video that's already out of date and I'm not taking it down because it's one of my best edited videos that I've ever done. Which is either saying a lot or a little, I don't know. Sony has released a statement that is now completely changed the game. After having spent two days saying that you would need to have a PlayStation Network account moving forward, which would limit the availability of the game to a 69, not nice, countries, they've now backtracked. They've now said that they've heard the community's cries, they're learning... learning the PC platform environment? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad they're listening. One of those situations where you want to be really happy, but also like, have they learned or have they put this on the back burner? Now, Helldivers 2 will probably never require a PlayStation Network account now. But, um, what about Marathon? What about any of those other live service games they're working on? What about the next God of War game? What if they ever actually make another uh, Killzone multiplayer focused first person shooter? Are we going to need a PSN account? play on PC? Is it going to come to PC? Does this change how often they'll put games on PC or does this just change their requirement moving forward? History is littered with companies backtracking only to try again later on. So I'm happy and this is a W and we should all celebrate this W. Maybe uh, with a round of, I don't know, some, uh, some automatons. Maybe we can celebrate with the, uh, the Illuminate coming soon. Hmm? How about that? That'd be great. I'm just saying. But yeah, that's what we know. I, all of the the crap that I said in the previous video is still valid. It still was a thing up until about uh, an hour ago. So, dude, th it literally, like, I was finishing editing the video. And then somebody put it in our chat that we use for the podcast. That was done. And I was like, fuck me. Like, I'm literally publishing the video now. And I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. So that that's good. Hopefully this one's... Hopefully this one's good too. If it is, you know, you should you should press the little button down there, the little like, the thumbs up, let me know, please. It sounds like Pilstead really did go to bat for the community and Arrowhead uh, can remain one of your preferred game devs for now. There were still mistakes made along the way. So I think they still have some regaining of trust to do in the community, in my opinion, but at least I can rest assured knowing that like, people are going to be able to play the fucking game that they bought. Because that was the big concern. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? What is your opinion of this whole frickin'... What is your opinion of this whole frickin' scandal? Is it overblown? Was it all not that big a deal? Isn't it crazy how quickly it went from good guy Sony to bad guy Sony to good guy Sony? Wait, that's a thumbs down. Oh, man. To, to be fair, there are no good guy billion dollar corporations. That's not how they got to be billion dollar corporations. I'm just saying. But at least for now, democracy has uh, won the day. So, have fun. Go shoot some bugs. Robots. Not each other. Woo!